This is probably about an acre. A fresh start and new surroundings. They have chickens over there. They got a donkey down there. In the Arizona desert, just outside Tucson, home is among the scrap piles. There's a septic uh, tank somewhere, and then there's a water line, and then the electricity. 18-year-old David Cerrone has just reconnected with his biological mother and is living in a trailer on her barren three-acre property. This is the key to my door. <laughs> so you, know, you pop it open and then it opens up like that. Meager as it is. This is your new life here. Yeah. And what do you think of it? I like it. <laughs> he prefers this to the world he just left in Washington State's foster care system. Some people may think, you know, how can you live that way? But I have all the things that I need out there. I can not really have a job. I didn't have a family. You know, I didn't have friends. That's because much of David's life was spent in places like this when he entered Washington's foster care system two years ago at age 16. His feet barely touched the ground as the state moved him through a succession of hotel rooms. I went there with my bag of clothes. Instead of a foster home. What was the longest stay you ever had in a motel? December, January, so around two and a half-ish months, maybe like two months in a week. The message was one no child should hear. No one wants you. What I pretty much feel like I was told was it's your fault that you have to get sent to these hotels or these are a result of your actions or something like that. I'm like, it's my fault, you know, that I don't have a place to live. This report cites the alarming rate of the state's use of hotels to temporarily house foster kids, an increase of nearly 40 percent over the prior year. Those children spent more than 1,500 nights in 2019 in hotel rooms, according to the Ombuds for the Department of Children, Youth and Families, DCYF. These are traumatic experiences for these children. Ombuds Patrick Dowd found many of the hotel stays involved children with mental health or behavioral issues. Some of these children clearly need mental health placement and they're in a hotel because the referral for a mental health placement has been accepted, but there's not a bad date available. We brought in, I think, an extra chair for one of the uh, counselors. Manager John Coney runs the Grove West Seattle Inn, where DCYF rented rooms like this one last year. With the foster care part of it, we didn't really know that until they got here and they said we're taking, you know, we've got foster kids, we're going to be putting them up and then they're going to be 24-hour surveillance on them and that kind of thing. Records show the state paid the Grove more than $3,300 for one child's three-week stay. In addition, at least two social workers are in the room with the children at all times and sometimes a security guard as well. You hear about foster kids and there's a foster home or a, or a place that they generally stay and so we were kind of surprised when it happened that uh, why are they putting them up in a hotel? This is pricey. I feel like a big thing for me was I was pretty lonely. The child pays a bigger price. When a foster kid is out of placement, as the state says, they spend their nights in a hotel and their days hanging out at their social worker's office. No treatment, no friends, no school. I self-medicated a lot of the way through you know, that whole hotel thing, because I had nothing else to do. Social workers would often catch him with a bottle of liquor. When I was doing that, they are like, oh, you need to be sober, but it's like, how am I going to do that? You know, and all you want me to do is sit here and do nothing and what, think about how horrible my life is. The names of foster kids are kept secret, and it took us months to find and track down David here in the Arizona desert. But we know the stories of dozens of other foster children because of documents we received from the state through a public records request. Those records show a shy four-year-old, a happy and active 10-year-old, and a seven-year-old boy who has experienced trauma and loss, foster kids who were all housed in hotel rooms. One child was in 36 placements prior to a hotel stay because of behavior and alcohol problems. As far as, you know, them saying that a lot of the kids that have to stay in the hotels have behavioral issues. I, I don't agree with that because a lot of the kids that I saw were like little kids. Like how does a four year old, you know, have behavioral issues? We got to get ahead of this problem. It, it is the biggest problem that I have operationally in child welfare. Ross Hunter heads the Department of Children, Youth and Families. He admits that sending a kid to a hotel instead of treatment or a foster home is a failure. 
the Washington State Legislature is right now considering a budget request to increase funding for complex foster care cases, kids with mental or behavioral problems who need treatment before they're placed with a foster family. These kids need our love and care. We need these placements. These kids need a stable place to be that can manage their behaviors and help bring their behaviors down. I can say that I enjoy the way that I live. When he turned 18 in October, David aged out of foster care and left Washington behind. I'm not going to let, you know, bad stuff I went through in the past prevent me from achieving what I want to achieve. So good luck to you, David. The kid's got a pretty positive attitude uh, considering what he's been through. That Ombuds report says the problem is not due to a lack of foster families. It's because of a lack of treatment for kids with mental or behavioral problems. But the Department of Children's Youth and Families, DCYF, is always looking for willing and able foster parents, and you can make a difference in a kid's life. Find out how on DCYF's Become a Foster Parent webpage. We have a link in our story online. Obviously, you highlighted one, one kid who seems to be getting his life back in, in order slowly. Yeah. How many kids are we talking about over the years? So there's about, you know, two to 300 kids per year that spend some time in a hotel room. Uh, those are, again, kids that are sometimes hard to place. Some of them only go for a night or two. But then there's kids like David who you really can't understand spending so long in a hotel, except that he's a 16-year-old, and kids just become less adoptable as they get older. That's right. the difficult thing. It's just always a challenge. But then you said a 4-year-old, a 10-year-old, oh. and those are yeah, just Those the are ones just hard to explain, track. aren't they? Yeah. Thank you. Okay.